Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Wednesday, December 27th, 2017. And today in our Tech News Update, we have the iPhone 10 that's still in the news as we are going to talk about, of course, some of the most popular things that were sold this holiday season a little later in the news. But what we see is that apparently iPhone 10's sales are actually very bad compared to what they should have been and uh, some analysts are saying that uh, they've heard that Apple will be reducing the price of the iPhone 10 in early 2018 and this is usually another sign that sales aren't that great well Windows 10 is free for just a few days again now remember that assistive technologies that you can use to upgrade Windows 10 and of course there's really no verification, so anyone could still have Windows 10 for free using this trick, is ending this Sunday. And after that, well, it's anyone's guess if anything else will still be free. So um, you probably, if you want to upgrade for free, maybe uh, use the few days that are left because it's very possible that starting January, there won't be any more loopholes for a Windows 10 free upgrade. One of the news items, of course, of 2017 was cyber attacks and hacking. And one of the main reasons behind the 2017 increase, according to a uh, security analyst, is that there is a lack of security professionals. Apparently, this is a field where there's a lack of really, really good guys and girls that could actually help and make cyber attacks less important. And that uh, basically this needs to be fixed as in the future, cyber attacks, hacking will of course be more and more popular. And it is actually right now the number one thing that scares the most people on the internet. Well, net neutrality was a big subject by the end of this year. And what we know is that this is going to still be a big news item in 2018 as net neutrality, according to many experts, is just beginning. This is a net neutrality war going on, and there will be a lot of things happening in 2018. So I think we're going to talk about this even more once again. Well, AMD really, really hit the spot in 2017 with its AMD Ryzen CPUs. But it was more or less of a joke with its Vega GPUs that are actually not very performant and actually very far behind NVIDIA's GPUs. So um, it was kind of a half win here. Um, it would have been cool to see that they've, you know, done something great with Ryzen and done something great with their Radeon Vega GPUs also. Well, Google is going to be one of the companies to look at in 2018 with many antitrust lawsuits going on, the European Commission, uh, the, and even here in the United States, and a lot of uh, questions about how fair it is in its search results when it comes to having search results from competition show up. So this is going to be very, very interesting as um, Google is under fire almost everywhere now. If you are one of the users of the Mozilla Thunderbird email client, just remember to make sure you upgrade to the latest version. It has been found in the past few weeks that a buffer overflow flaw makes it vulnerable to attacks and actually an infection can actually infect your Windows operating system through a malformed email. So by updating to the latest version of Thunderbird, you will actually have fixed this flaw. Nintendo Switch big game titles will actually have to wait a little more Apparently, a technical glitch seems to show up when they are using 64 gigabyte game cartridges on the Switch. So the problem is, is that the companies that issue these really big games that need all this space are having an issue right now. So, the, of course, Nintendo is working on a fix. And so basically, that means a lot of titles will be delayed this year or next year. Two technologies that uh, will make the news in 2018 for sure is self-driving cars and trucks. I think this is still something that 
even though in 2017 we talked a lot about it, will become even more and more prevalent. And maybe the mainstream um, users will actually see it. But also um, artificial intelligence and the use of all of that together because um, AI and self-driving cars actually go hand in hand in order for a car to actually realize how and where it's driving on the road. So this is going to be interesting to see in 2018. So strong sales in the holiday season. Um, we don't have official numbers and this is the problem. So we've heard that strong sales for iPhones, but that could be only iPhone 7, 8, 8 plus as the iPhone 10 doesn't seem to really sell that well. Amazon Echo Dot, apparently the most popular device sold on Amazon. But the biggest problem that we have right now is that Amazon, uh, I am, you know, Apple and uh, pretty much every retailer, they're like just saying, oh, we have really strong results, but no numbers, no real numbers. So what is this reality exactly? That's what we wonder. So this was the Tech News Update for Wednesday, December the 27th, 2017. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.